Hello, my friend, and welcome back to another Brood War cast here. Your daily dose of Brood War with Larva spawning in the bottom left. And Tango. Tango? Tango? Tengu. Here in the top left-hand corner. Tengu is the ACS champion. If you don't know what that is, that's the Africa Challenger Series. It's for players who have never been in the ASL. And Tengu managed to win this season. And he got seeded uh, with that win into the finals of one of the qualifiers. And he managed to get in to ASL for the first time ever. So he is probably super happy with his performance there. Very excited to play in the ASL. And this game right here was played on February 13th. So just days ago, guys. And... I should mention, by the way, happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there who's watching this on February 14th. Hope you are having a lovely time with your significant other or having a, a nice time enjoying this game of Brood War with me. Either one. We've got Larva here. Or both, I guess I could say. We've got Larva taking the natural here. 12 hatch and this is a match that I have been our matchup excuse me that I have been struggling with a lot recently on my stream I'm not actually streaming right now because uh, I got super duper tilted today I was uh, mostly tilted actually by a versus Terran match where I had a defiler sitting at the front of my natural the Marines were coming in, there were irradiates going down, and my Defiler bugged out, couldn't eat any uh, lings, couldn't consume any lings. I had everything timed out perfectly, but we ended up dying anyway, and after that I just couldn't bring myself to play a decent game. I just was completely tilted, so for any of you guys who are watching, I apologize for the massive tilt, tilted off the planet today, honestly. But that's pretty much par for the course in Brood War. If you guys want to come and check me out playing around 1800 ladder, I'm trying to get into A rank here right now. You can come and cheer me on, watch me lose my mind to all these bad manner Korean players on the ladder. It is what it is. So you can come and check it out if you are so inclined. Now, three more sets of lings are being built here. You can see Tengu is being a little sneaky. He's trying to hide his marines here in the fog of war. And it seems that Larva is not going to be fooled here. He is building several extra sets of lings and sending them into a good position. Here's a marine heading out on the field. We've got two lings coming up here. Now, if he loses these two lings, he could be in quite a bit of trouble. Let's see. Gonna run right up on top of these marines and getting a pretty good kill there. Very nice micro from Tengu, but he still might lose this. No, he manages to save one marine. Pretty good job there, keeping that alive. Now three marines and a fourth moving up here towards the front of the natural. We are gonna have a few more links pop out along with that ling speed and Tengu not really gonna get any more damage done here, I think, with the links that are out on the field right now. Larva should be able to hold on here at the front. And yeah, Tengu just gonna fall back here. Six slings, more than enough to deal with this. We've got four drones in production. SCV gonna slip in here, that's a bit annoying. Definitely hate to see that SCV sliding into your natural right as you're leaving with the links, but it's a great move here by Tengu. He's gonna get the full scout of the main. He will not need any uh, scans to figure out exactly what's coming here. He knows everything. And he will be able to prepare for it properly. He knows the timing of the spire. He knows the timing of the second gas. He's going to see these lings. How many are popping. How many drones are here. And all the information he could ever possibly want for Tengu he has right now. So he has, in my opinion, a great, great position to actually fight this game out here against one of the best zerg players that we have right now in larva larva is a bit 
well, one thing to mention, he hasn't played a whole lot recently. He's been gaming it up on the ladder a little bit here and there. But he's not like Tengu level, where Tengu practices daily, every single day, for multiple hours per day. He's preparing for his run in the ASL, his very first run in the ASL. His first time on camera, as far as I know, unless he was on camera in the ACS, which is something that I actually did not watch. I did not watch the ACS. Though I might have to go back and take a look at that before we get into this season of ASL. Yeah, he's got to be nervous. You know, he's got to be practicing really, really hard. I know he's actually... He's famous for how much he practices. He practices a lot, so... Larva, a little bit more on the rusty side, might have... A bit of a tough time here taking Tengu down, but he's got some links. Or he's got some Mutalis on the field now. Starting to pump out more and more. It's kind of a slow ramp up here, though, for Larva, because he had to produce quite a few lings in the early game. And getting those drones out took some time. He will be taking his third and getting that online, the gas online here shortly. Lings are going to be sent down to deal with this one single SCV. That's managed to spot the third base. So just the scouting alone this game has been pretty insane for Tengu. He really has the the number here of Larva in terms of just knowing everything that's going on. Whoa! I don't know what happened there, but it looked like he flew right over the, uh, the turrets here. That's not looking good. Larva may be making a big mistake there. Now flying into the main. He's going to see the... Uh, a factory is making and this is a really big pickoff getting that factory is huge stopping that factory is huge but he sees that marine medic is actually heading across the map and he does not have any sunken back at home so he has to contend that with this he has to come back here and deal with this gonna get some shots off here a little bit of miss micro from larva not getting the best shots off you could see that he missed one and now he's gonna lose a, a muta as well that's very very rough this is kind of a desperate situation right now. I've been in this position many a time. Very hard to pull everything together right now. And in the meantime, we've got a bunch of Marines heading down towards the bottom right. So will Larva realize that that is indeed occurring? Will he send his Mutas directly to the bottom right? Or is he going to send them towards the natural? Looks like he will send them directly to the bottom right. And that is very good news indeed. Drones are gonna hide here try to run away from these marines and medics and actually another bio force heading out on the map right now tango really putting on the pressure here he's gonna get this overlord while his marines and medics are falling here he's gonna start to push in towards that natural now rotating back around will he be able to make it in time looks like the drones are gonna be pulled preemptively and I don't think Tengu's going to get too much here. He's going to try and target down the hatchery. Maybe get a, a Mutalist or two as they pop out. But I think this will be cleaned. Larva. Oh, it's getting kind of low, man. Are we going to get this? He does save it. 200 HP left on that. Very nicely done. Good save here from Larva. And now he's going to move out towards the middle. Realizing that there's probably another counterattack coming. He sees the Marines over here. And when all's said and done, I think Larva in a pretty decent spot. I mean, that's just a really good good, uh, you know, position to be in as a Zerg player. You've cleaned up so many Marines at this point. Your opponent's really not going to have much on the field to, to deal with you. We will have that lair or that hive on the way here soon. We've already got Lurker Aspect coming up. He's going to fly through once again. He sees what the tech path is like. He sees that we are having some star ports. On the way here. We should have vessels coming out soon. There's the science facility. It has been slowed down here though. Quite significantly actually. This is a, a pretty significant slowdown in that tech. You can see the control towers are done. And we're just about halfway done the science facility. So this is a pretty good move by Larva. But how is he going to follow up? I think he'll follow up with an Evo Chamber. And there it is. Evo Chamber into Lurker. He will be getting his Carapace upgrades online. And playing out a very standard game. This is something I've been trying to do a lot more recently. In the past, I did focus on 
uh, bus with things like Lurker bus or uh, Guardian bus. And that's a great way to play Zerg if you are kind of a newer player. If you're not totally familiar with the race and you want to get some wins over some Terran, then definitely going for bus like that can get you some, some nice quick wins. But this is the more standard way to do it. This is the more uh, solid way to do it uh, as well. To get Lurker on high ground here, to have Lurker here and to go directly into Defiler and eventually up to a fourth base in Ultra is the stock standard way to play. It is very, very strong. It just requires a lot of multitasking. It requires a lot of attention around the map and great uh, map awareness and Scourge defense. You cannot allow dropships to come in easily. You cannot allow the Terran player to deal damage to you. You have to smoothly transition and keep your upgrades going the entire time. You, there's so many different upgrades to buy when you're playing this style, right? You have to get Lurker, you have to get Consume, you get Adrenal, you get Armor, then you get Attack, uh, Melee Attack. Then you wanna have uh, Ultra Carapace and Ultra Speed. There's just a lot of different upgrades to grab. And so it can be a quite a difficult style to play. It takes a lot of practice and of course, Larva is very, very skilled at it. He has that speed. As you can see, 317 APM. Able to keep up with the best of them. And right now, there's not a lot of pressure coming out here. You can see Larva kind of floating around with these mutas, looking for anywhere that he can harass right now. But with these science vessels here, with the irradiate, it's not going to be a possibility. Just looking for something, anything he can pick off with these mutas is they're not too useful anymore. A third starport going to come up along with the third base. Going for this one vessel. Oh, he does get that. How did he manage to make that actually connect? That is shocking to me. Scourge often do not want to connect. Especially onto a unit that is moving at a diagonal. Like if you're moving back this way and then you suddenly switch direction. The Scourge really hate to actually hit that. So... Something that I often struggle with is actually getting those to connect. Now, running down the ramp here, a little bit of a mistake by Larva. Does lose one Lurker for that, but should be able to claim this area now. As the Defiler with the Dark Swarm here and prepared. A couple of vessels going to come down. Hopefully, we have another Dark Swarm here, and he will. Another Defiler should be on the way as well. Gonna push the Lurker back here into the corner and grab that base. Couple more consumes being thrown down. A Lurker moving forward here. Not enough Irradiate to break this position, but this is a pretty fast fourth base. I don't think that Tengu wants to allow that to occur. I think he wants to try and break through here if he can. Another Defiler coming down here. Oh, he's gonna be able to save this Defiler. Really nice control with the Scourge right now. Pushing everything back. Keeping the Defiler alive is critical. He had to keep that alive. And he does. Now going to be able to clear out these Marines back here. And what's the plan from uh, Tengu? What is he going to go for? Is he going to go all the way up into BCs really quickly? Or what's the... Oh my god. The Fire Bats are going to break this actually. Oh. This Fire Bat switch really strong right now. Larva getting a little bit too feisty here. Trying to break this... Or trying to get in here... A little bit too quickly. We're going to have a plague down here. Or what? Oh, man. Larva didn't cast any spell with that. The fire bats up on the high ground are going to do so much damage. Lurker raining down. Spines, though, dealing even more. Picking off the majority of these units. We're going to have some lings pop through. And I think that Larva should be able to secure this base now. But he was slowed down by Larva with that fire, or by uh, Tengu with that firebat play. More firebats gonna come forward here. That's not enough firebats though to break three lurkers and we might lose all of our vessels now. Ooh, there's the mistake. Tengu playing an awesome, awesome game so far, but that's the big mistake that he made. Losing his three science vessels here. Very painful stuff. What is he gonna be pumping out of these next three uh, starports triple battle cruiser so he's got what where, where, where is how, how many 
science vessels does he actually have? I don't see even one. So we have no science vessel anymore. But we're gonna be pumping a triple battle cruiser and pushing in to all these different locations with Marine and of course these fire bats. I don't think he can break any of these positions with just fire bat Marine, man. We need vessels to break any of these spots, but he's probably gonna come down here with the battle cruiser if I had to guess battle cruiser right here try to kill this extractor would be the next step the next operation here you can see drop ships are queued up here we're gonna get triple drop i think from tengu while he harasses over here or maybe he'll come in to harass the main base and then drop the main at the same time little lings out on the field now we're gonna do some work on these Marines and Medics. Plus two, plus two is done. That's pretty good upgrades. Only plus one armor here. Plus two armor about to finish. Finishing up at about the same time as Chitin is plating. Very good timings here from Larva. That's kind of the power spike and when you want to start really pumping out the Ultralisk. But before he even gets his fourth gas online, we're going to have battle cruisers here and that'll force out a lot of Scourge. So with the Scourge, being forced out, that's going to reduce the number of Ultra that you're able to produce. And Larva going to actually try and take a fifth base right now. Interesting. Trying to take a fifth right here. The Battle Cruiser's coming in. Trying to break this base. Beautiful Plague there. Oh my god, so much damage from that Plague. There's only one Ling up on high ground with four HP. But Tengu actually going to have to turn around from that. Oh, Ling's coming up here, dealing a lot of damage. But the Marines are too strong. Three Battle Cruisers making their way up here to the front. We should see a Dark Swarm or a Plague. Maybe both. In order to hold back these Battle Cruisers. Here he comes. Plague. Very nice Plague there. A couple more consumes. And then a Dark Swarm should be in order. More Scourge coming out here. Really nicely done. With the battle cruisers keeping the majority of them alive. Dark Storm gonna come down here. But the main is a little bit exposed right now. Where are the drop ships? Triple drop. Heading down right now. He's gonna actually clear the main so that there's some space for a big drop here. Does need to pull back these battle cruisers, but there's no scourge to contest this. Here we go. Giant drop into the main base. Will Larva be able to clear this? There's the plus one uh, attack here coming up for Larva. That's going to be denied. So the plus one denial is actually kind of big. We're also going to be able to deny the ultra speed. Defiler Mound going to fall as well. These are some great moves by Tengu. At the same time, he's going to push in over here towards the natural. Ling's coming up to try and defend, but this is a sloppy defense from Larva so far. He's even going to lose the spawning pool, which has just fallen Ultras have popped, but we are missing a lot of these tech buildings. There's Evos, double Evos, and an Ultras Cavern over here at the natural. As Larva finally brings this stuff together to clear this drop into the main, more uh, science vessels are going to come down here. They should be able to grab a bunch of irradiates on these Ultras. Very annoying stuff. For our Zerg player, he's got to pull these drones out of the way because he won't be able to bring the Ultralisk down to fight here if he doesn't have the drones out of the way. Dark Swarm comes down at the last possible second. With that Dark Swarm, looks like he will be able to hold on, but how many drones will be killed right here? Looking like quite a few. We do have another Nidus coming down, but Nidus there does get picked off. Lurker gonna come in, and with the Lurkers, it appears that Larva can clear, but this has been a hectic, hectic series of events. More Marines gonna run up into the main base. One Ultra is there to hopefully clear that out. And a fifth base has been established. No gas there just yet, but he should be getting that online soon. A 3-3 Marine here in the main base, having done quite a bit of damage. Just gonna sit there and chill. Plus two armor is done. Do we have plus one? Okay, it was plus two maybe that was denied. Plus two uh, attack that was possibly denied here. And look at this. 
Another giant drop here. I don't see any medics with this. Okay, I see one medic, two medics in this army, but Lurker and Hydra probably going to be able to hold this off. We're going to get a big plague here. Hydras are going to do very well against these plague marines, but there's quite a few marines that have not been plagued as well as these firebats mixed in here. Ling's just running by and getting massacred. A big fight here in the natural as well. A lot of irradiates going down over in this position while lurkers are trying to clear out over here. We don't see a uh, eraser trick, or did we? There's not very many drones over at this location right now. Battle cruisers hitting into the natural here once again, switching back into that tech after a round of dropships and a couple of rounds of science vessels now going for this play with the battle cruisers. Switching back and forth here, giving Larva a headache right now. The natural is quite exposed. The Ultras are going to leave this area, and immediately we're going to see Marines and Medics make their way over here to start pressuring this area again. We don't have much to fight here, but we're going to have to bring everything together. Here come the Ultras from behind. Are we going to be able to clear this out? Plus one, or plus three armor is about to finish. That's too many Ultras. Everything going to get cleared here. A Defiler makes his way to the front as well, and we've got a Hydra underneath this Dark Swarm, so he will be able to hold for now. My goodness, what a game so far, guys. The ACS champion really giving Larva a run for his money. We've got one Scourge here, but that is a low HP dropship. Will be picked off. Base in the top right is up and running here, and the Extractor looks like it might get taken out. Gonna consume and try to get a plague down on these battle cruisers, I think. Another vessel coming through here. Will be able to get this defiler, but should fall in turn. My god, did that not fall? Oh man, really gotta shoot that. That's unfortunate. Plagued extractor. The rare plagued extractor there. Gonna have a huge plague on these vessels and things have started to calm down a little bit, but I think this is good news for Larva. If things are calming down right now, he should be able to put everything together. He should be able to get a good defense going and get some more ultras out on the map. Looks like he's got enough ultras for sure to clear this marine medic force. Maybe this one over here as well. But we'll see if he can get up into any of these bases. That's a pretty good defensive position up there. Pretty strong defensive spot here set up for Tengu. And it's looking a little bit breakable down here at 6 o'clock. These Marines, they needed to be taken... Uh, they needed to be uh, stopped here, but they might actually just stim and run right into this. Okay, some Lurkers are going to make their way up here onto the high ground. That's a good play from Larva, bringing these Lurkers from the natural down here in the bottom right to defend that position. Battle Cruisers killed that... Vespian Geyser. Gonna prevent Larva from mining here at the natural for some time. How much how much gas? There's only 300 gas left in there anyway, so not the biggest loss in the world. A lot of Hydras popping out here. Switching now into Hydra, realizing that Battlecruiser uh, is not going to go down easy to just, uh, you know, Scourge. That's gonna be a lot of wasted uh, Vespian gas, so he's gonna switch instead into a lot of Hydras and try to fight this. He should be able to gun down that. Oh, ho, 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 killing the hatchery there. A really nice move from Tengu. Mikering those two battle cruisers to get that done. He finishes off the hatchery and saves both the BCs. These are hero BCs right here. 10 kills, 12 kills apiece. Really, really nice. Even manages to kill that uh, defiler as well. Battle cruisers here. Gonna run into what seems like a an impossible uh, position. Looks like we will end up uh, picking off the battle cruisers from here. But uh, vessels coming through, interestingly, throwing down a lot of radiates here, picking off a lot of these hydras. Another radiate gonna come down on this defiler. Not much mining here at the natural right now. Just a little bit of long distance. I think that's going to be enough. I don't think we really need to retake that. Great plague once again. Getting all 
all of these units, all of these uh, vessels here. Hydras under Dark Swarm can hold off. But Larva is on the brink of actually losing the position here over at... Oh my god, he's going to get so many vessels. He's got to go after these. These vessels are so low on that health. And these uh, battle cruisers at the same time as well. Very, very low on that health. Some links going to make their way up over to the 12 o'clock, but two battle cruisers. Is this the two hero battle cruisers? It is. They're being healed. They're being uh, repaired here. Going to go back to the field soon to put in more work. Ling's catching a bunch of Marines out here in the middle of the map, and these Marines are going to try to get over here, but Larva seems to have pretty much stabilized. He's got his feet underneath him. He's got Groove Spines on the way. That's a long time coming, that upgrade. He really should have had that quite some time ago. Coming around, going to surround this army. He does lose one Defiler, unfortunately, but... That's a lot of Ultra, a lot of Hydra as well. Can he break a base here? Two more dropships coming out on the map. We're going to try and maybe drop the main once again, but we've got an Ultra here. We've got some uh, defenses in the air as well. Dark Swarm should be coming up here shortly. Dark Swarm there to defend the Hydras. And this poor Battlecruiser with 16 kills may end up falling. His buddy just went down. And the Hydras are banging away here. Can he actually finish that off? He's got no attack upgrades on the Hydras, unfortunately. So that will escape. Tanks are starting to be produced here. Ultra's getting on top of all of this. Dealing a lot of damage. Picking off that tank. And getting all, almost all of the Marines. He might actually kill every Marine here. Another base coming up over on this side. Looks like he actually turned around with that drop. Tried to drop down into the bottom right, but realized there's way too many Ultras here to make that happen. Oh, a big eraser trick here. While this drop is going on in the center right, so many drones are going to fall in bottom right right now, but a single Hydra pops out and kills all of them. That's crazy. That's really unfortunate for Larva that he didn't have one Hydra down here. He could have killed all of those without losing any drones but instead he loses them all now coming down to the bottom or to the center right gonna clear out some of these marines adding on 13 more drones right now really droning up heavily as he gets into this late game just sending in the lings here to deal that damage the tanks on the high ground are gonna get huge huge kills you can see they've already got a lot about 15 kills between them. Base here on the center left has been established. We need to get that gas guys are rolling pretty soon here. A drop again down into the bottom right. Going to deal some more damage. Singular Hydra's not going to deal with that this time. Ultras are going to be brought back. He's going to start another Hydralis den just in case this falls. And it probably will end up falling. Yeah, it's going to go down here. One HP. There it is. It does fall. Hydras and Ultras on high ground here. But no Defiler to speak of. I don't see any Defilers in the area. He really needs one to help defend this spot. Everything's been cleaned up. Once again, Larva has stabilized, but this is depleted now. Got just about every single base depleted. Battlecruiser over here with six kills moving down towards the bottom left. Going to start to harass that main. We'll only need to see one Hydralisk to kill this. Jeez, I don't know who's going to win this, guys. It's a very close game right now. Tengu is looking pretty good. He's really putting the hurt on Larva, preventing him from taking more bases. And starting to build up that tank count as well. Ling's coming down here, kind of dying. Willy-nilly, we might lose this uh, Defiler Mound as well. No, finally, Hydras are going to make their way up here. There it is. Does manage to get rid of that, but this is a very nice uh, tank position right here. Going to start to pick off free units here. Lurker's going to try to to come up to assist, but this Defiler could end up going down. Defiler goes down. Not going to be able to make it up here to defend and opening up this position. Tango going to rush down to 6 o'clock, realizing that Lurkers have been pulled. And he will be able to break this. The last mining base here truly 
from Larva, aside from this one right now, which he's battling to try and hold on to, is going to go down, or is it? Lurker's coming up on the high ground. We've got one more Defiler. Defiler gonna be able to drop the Dark Swarm here, but the base does indeed fall. Most of the drones will end up going down as well. This is an overall win for Tengu. Tengu gonna lose the majority of his forces over here, but more irradiates are gonna go down on these Hydras, picking them off and really solidifying the lead here for Tengu. Larva barely hanging in there right now by the skin of his teeth, trying to survive. I'm gonna bring forward some more Scourge. Has additional Ultralis here to fight as well. But a, an army making its way into the main base could be a real serious problem. Army coming around from behind this. It looks like he's ready to flank this, uh, the, the uh, tank force here at the bottom of the ramp. That's not a lot of units. We're not actually mining at 12. We are mining in these two top bases, but the overall army supply, the, the amount of units that we've been able to put together here is not that much for Tengu. Tengu gonna lose probably both of his vessels here and the, uh, this fighting force from behind, the link force coming in and surrounding this army, Tengu's gonna be shoved back once again. This army down here has been cleaned. We're gonna try and retake the six o'clock base. Oh my God, what a scrappy game here. This is a fantastic one, guys. Shout out to Dude Nerd for sending this. But what a great game. Tanks on high ground, very, very strong, undeniably strong. But lit, uh, Marines in low numbers, not really the, what you need to deal with Ultralisk Ling. You need a very high number of uh, of Marine to actually deal with that effectively. Bringing out a lot of Scourge right now. You can see the uh, kind of experience of Larva starting to come in here. You're very low on gas. You really don't have much gas, but you're starting to get more gases online. What do you build? Do you build more Ultra or do you build a huge round of Scourge? Well, Larva answers that question for us here. The big round of Scourge is actually going to be more useful because we need to, to shut down the Defilers or the, uh, the vessels which are going to be shutting down our Defiler play. So he brings out those Scourge. He gets rid of the Defiler. Now coming in through with a lot of Ultra. Is this the final blow? Has Larva done it here? He's gonna clear out all of these units and he gets his base at six o'clock online. All these Scourge flying through the air. He knows, he knows what his opponent has to do. He's gotta get something going here. There's the two vessels. He really should have his Scourge over here to try and deal with that, but he's sending everything over to the top right-hand corner. He's trying to shut down this base. The tank on high ground is gonna be so effective. These tanks doing so much damage here and the two bunkers are going to be enough. Dropship coming over here to the center left. Tengu swinging things back into his favor. More Lings coming out here, but there's no Ultras to back them up. All the Ultras were spent to the top right trying to kill that base and they were not able to make it happen. Lings spilling forward here, but that's so many Marines. Without the Ultralist support, they will not be able to break this. Another base down here at the six o'clock, but we're on one base mining once again. Thank you, checking center right, making sure that there are no further bases. Did Larva mess up here? Did he make the ultimate mistake by jumping into this base rather than just defending and getting more bases online? I think he's going to end up regretting this one, guys. Those two ultras and the links that he sent to the top right would have easily dealt with this drop. The Scourge that he built earlier on, if they had been there, if they had been where they were before previously, they were all here not moments ago, but they're not there anymore. He could have easily dealt with this drop, putting over his overlords over top of the Lurkers. A very good move here from Larva to keep those Lurkers alive, prevent them from being irradiated. They are his lifeline in this game right now. He's got a Defiler here. He's building more Scourge. We don't have much in the production tab for Tengu right now, but he's still got income. Top right is just about to mine out though. 
That base is getting very low. This base almost has no resources left. We're going to drop another Dark Swarm here. It's the best we can do at this point. Two Dark Swarms for one Defiler. Might be able to hold on to this base. But he ha still hasn't been able to break the top right, man. Like, if he had just defended there, rather than trying to break top right, he would have had these two bases still online, the bottom center and the uh, center left, but he doesn't have... He doesn't have the two of them active anymore. Five Ultras here in the middle. The full extent of the army right now for Larva. Larva putting down a lot of Dark Swarm, making it hard for the uh, vessels to actually find this unit. Can he actually get a big plague here? He will. Huge plague there in the middle of this army. Keep consuming. Keep plaguing here, Larva. You need to get more value out of these Defilers if you're going to win this game. Nice plague there on all of these vessels and that defiler will end up going down here but well done quite a lot of ultras he needs the scourge out now there they are scourge are coming down for the kill can they get this oh my god i don't think he's going to be able to get them can he get some of them he gets one two of those vessels go down dropship here the centerpiece of this next battle Nothing inside of that, but it's still a frightening thing to have on your screen. What is what is that doing there? Where is it going? What is what what is going on right now? He's gonna drop a dark storm here on the low ground. Try to break this tank push that Tengu is desperately trying to mount. A push down here with the uh, fire bats and a D matrix actually breaking this position. This is huge. Tanku is going to get in here and break six o'clock once again. Six o'clock going down is so painful for Larva, who's resecured this like three times already. But this is so many links. Links coming in from every direction. Ultras this time to support them as well as Tengu gets cleared out. Larva finally surrounding and finishing off that army and keeping the bases alive oh my god but is it too late he's got two gas mining i think he's we're still okay here we're still surviving for the time being larva is yet still alive ultra gonna come down this ramp here but kind of sacrificial needs to pull these back do need to have defiler with this or at least a lot of lings that's so many ultra though. I think he can do it now. There's only one dropship out on the map. That's the last hope of Tengu. We don't have any vessels here. No vessels to speak of. What are we producing? Just three ultras and some lings. Defiler making its way out here. The mineral patches are running dry. I've never seen someone mine out the mid main of uh, the middle of the map on retro in TVZ, but we might see it today, guys. Defiler here, throwing down some premium Dark Swarms in the middle of this army. Going to look for a big plague as well. He's got the energy for it. Might as well throw it down. Larva not paying attention to that. There he does get that out. Where is that dropship? It's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. The lotto ship here. Going to be denied for now. What is he scanning at this point? He's scanning what... What are we scanning? I have no idea. He's got the army over here. We need to take this base, Larva. We can't just run units into tank fire. We have to get another base online. He's going to try and prevent 12 o'clock from being retaken right now. We've got three vessels here. Three irradiates are going to be ready soon. Looks like they are ready now. There's the defiler that he wanted to use to try and break this. Can he actually get up here with the uh, Dark Swarm? The Dark Swarm right now. Oh, he goes for Plague instead. He's going to run up this ramp. Try to get up here. Targeting down the uh, Medics. Medics on the ramp. Very annoying to break through. He does get through those Medics, but that's so many links going down in another Medic wall here. Tengu going to hold on for now. A very tense game, guys. A butt clencher for sure. My cheeks are tight. Can we hold on here as Tengu? Command center over at the top right. 
Looks like it does go down. He does not lift that. Tengu losing that command center for free and he might get broken on this ramp. He doesn't have the medic wall. He did not have the medic wall here to, to hold that and there's too many ultras now. All the SCVs are up here in the top right hand corner, all 24 of them. And it looks like Tengu is finally gonna get knocked out here. Larva, after such a massive slog of a game, able to take down Tengu with the endless ultra list play. GG is called. Wow, what a beautiful game here of StarCraft, guys. So impressed with Larva and Tengu as well, showing us a fantastic game. I gotta say, this bust right here, when we had two lurkers on her overlords and he used the D-Matrix to get up there, I thought that that was the moment when Larva was gonna lose that, but the overwhelming Ling and Lur uh, Ultra coming down to the six o'clock, completely engulfing that army, changed the tides of this war. And Larva steals that game away. What an incredible TVZ, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow.